Mike Renner here breaking down Houston defensive tackle Ed Oliver, one of the most hyped prospects in the country over the past handful of years, finally declaring for the draft. We're gonna talk about what makes him special, but why we might be a little lower on him than most. One thing you can't deny though is how freakishly athletic Oliver is. Lined up at nose tackle, which is where he lined up for the majority of his time here at Houston. The thing was he played on a lot of three-man fronts where they had a lot of three-man pass rushes. So he'd see a lot more double teams than your average defensive tackle. And as you'll see on this play, he almost sees a triple team, but it doesn't matter because this is what teams are gonna fall in love with, the raw physical tools. If you'll run it here, you just see the burst after he knocks that center out of the way to get to the QB. He is so explosive that you just think if you can harness that raw physical ability at some point down the road, he could be an elite defensive lineman in the NFL. The physical freakish ability shows up every single game. Here again against Tulsa, lined up at the nose tackle, and again, it just one step, and he is around an offensive lineman, tracking down a running back, as you'll see here if you run. It just absolutely blows this play up. Almost looks like he's traveling at a faster speed than the running back is. That athletic ability is off the charts. Something we've really never seen, but again, he's not necessarily even 300 pounds at this point. He is undersized for a defensive tackle, but no, even if he did put on 10 to 15 more pounds, you'd think that athleticism is still gonna be at an elite, elite level. This next clip was arguably the most absurd play I saw all season long. Ed Oliver here lined up at about a three tech right over the right guard. And you'll see the quickness with which he beats the, the right guard and then dips the shoulder. The flexibility there is unlike anything I've really ever seen from a defensive tackle if you're running here. This is Aaron Donald-esque in terms of how quickly he wins. He wins so quickly that he thought the running back got the handoff because he got to the mesh point of the play action pass that quickly. Ed Oliver really is a special athlete that we have not seen in the past handful of years. Anything since probably Aaron Donald at the defensive tackle position. But there is a reason why we are probably lower on Oliver than a lot of the general public, and it's because two different things. One, his balance isn't that great. He ends up on the ground a lot trying to make plays, as we'll see here in a little bit, but also he's just such so unrefined at this point, and that sort of goes hand in hand of why he ends up on the ground a lot. He lets offensive linemen into his pads far too much, doesn't use his hands enough as a pass rusher, and that's when you get reps like this if you'll run it here. The left guard, Tyler Bowling, just gets his hands inside him, puts him on his back on the ground on a draw play there. See that far too often for Ed Oliver where he just, if he's not completely clean, if he doesn't get his body completely clean, he ends up losing reps. So. That's why we're a little low on him, but that, again, that could be a coaching thing. That can be corrected at the next level. The potential here for Ed Oliver still off the charts.